Hey, dude. Yeah, what's up? Hey, um, you're looking pretty big these days, bro. Oh, thanks, buddy. I really appreciate that. So, um, what's your secret? I'm currently the biggest and the strongest I've ever been in the gym in a very, very long time, and I won't lie, it feels good, everybody. I've been hearing it from a couple of friends at the gym, a couple of members at Fit Body Boot Camp that I'm starting to look a little bit broader in the shoulders. So in today's video, I want to give you guys some tips that I have been including on my day-to-day -day routine with my diet, with my training that has been helping me add some lean muscle mass to my frame. And no, I'm not saying I'm the biggest person, I'm not the biggest guy in the world or the strongest, but I have been seeing some increases, so I wanna take you guys along for the ride, and it all starts with diet. But, unfortunately, I don't have any food in the house, so we're gonna go to everybody's favorite place in the entire world, Walmart, and stock up on some of my essentials that I have in my diet every single day. Let's go. It is a chilly one out there today. All right, groceries are in the bag. Time to go home. <sighs> Lately, I switched over trackers also to Macro Factor, which I have been loving. Uh, my fitness pal, they don't have the scanner anymore or anything like that. And uh, the Macro Factor app is just, it's so much better. So we're gonna run through this. This morning, I weighed in at 175 pounds on the dot and at 15.6% body fat. That is what my scale weight uh, has showed me. Um, so just for some uh, reference, when I got done with 75 hard and I was at my leanest stage, I was uh, quite light. I'm actually 25 pounds heavier as I sit right now than at the end of 75 hard. So gained a lot of strength, some size with that back. Uh, and then when it comes to calories also, I'm currently trying to intake 3,046 calories in a day to put me in that caloric surplus. Uh, minimum goal of 189 grams of protein, 101 grams of fat, and 343 grams of carbs. So quite high with those. Uh, keep in mind my activity level on a day-to-day -day basis is pretty high. I'm usually walking scout once a day for at least 30 minutes. I'm working out for about an hour and a half each day. And then my job is also very physically demanding too, working as a fitness coach at Fit Body Boot Camp. So those are all things to keep in mind when it comes to setting my caloric goal. So make sure you're always setting your caloric goal a little bit different and then using these meal options for yourself uh, just by changing the serving sizes for each of them. Another thing that I am super, super excited about when I was at the grocery store, I ran into one of the members at Fit Body Boot Camp and I was in the dog aisle looking for a little treat, treat, <laughs> for this guy. And uh, she recommended this dog puzzle. So it's a dog brick, dog brick puzzle. Uh, they can kind of flip, <laughs> are you excited, dude? Uh, so they can flip around all of these different uh, panels to find dog treats. And so it's a good way to it says, help reduce destructive behavior, not that Scout is destructive or anything, uh, by exercising your dog's mind. So that's the one thing I know that this guy, not only does he need a lot of physical training, but he needs a lot of mental training also. So uh, we're gonna give this a shot a little bit later on in the day. We'll see how it goes. You excited? For breakfast time, my digestive system loves nothing more than a good old bowl of protein oatmeal. And also in the morning, I'm usually a hoe for being quick and easy when it comes to meal options. So we're gonna make protein oatmeal. And basically what I have going on in here is going to be two servings. And I always use a scale also. I have two servings or 80 grams of oatmeal. Oh, come on. Lip, lip. Ah. Next up, I do one serving of a frozen triple berry medley mix, 140 grams going in the hatch. If I can keep it in the bowl, is when you're trying to measure this out and it's nothing, 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 and then all of a sudden, boom. Oh, oh. There we go. 140 grams, a couple runaway berries on the side. All right, after that, we got one serving of good old peanut butter. Uh, it's not Jif, I usually get the Jif natural, but 
they were out, so this will do, one serving. Hey guys, a little trick too when it comes to adding peanut butter. So what you're gonna wanna do when it comes to weighing out is switch over the peanut butter because you're taking peanut butter out from the jar over to this. So instead of having to deal with a crazy sticky mess on the spoon, switch this over. Gonna pull out 33 grams, which that is a little bit over. It's at 36, but you always gotta give Scout a little bit. Oh, there you go. That doesn't make you uncomfortable. Right now, this is just going completely over the top. You do not have to do this. What I find is when I add 220 grams of water after I add my whey protein, it comes out to be the best consistency. After all, not too soupy. Nice and thick right there. We'll okay, throw that in two minutes, 30 seconds. Last step all you gotta do is add your protein powder of choice. I really like PE Science. I've been using the uh, Snickerdoodle flavor. Uh, really good stuff. I always suggest investing in a good quality protein. I usually go with either PE Science, First Forms, Formula One, or Level One products. Uh, they have a really good whey protein and amazing products all in general. Best protein bars of my life. Just gonna, just gonna throw that out there too. You give PE Science Select a try or some First Form, can't go wrong, gonna throw one serving of that in here and meal one is served. Just look at that consistency. That is beautiful. So this meal comes out to be 670 calories, starting off with 42 grams of protein right in the morning, 23 grams of fat and 80 carbs. So this has been one of my go-to meals lately. Again, it's quick and easy, which is just perfect for me. And right when I get done making this, I can Sit down, devour this, get a little bit of work done before the day. All right, got a little bit of work done this morning. Now it's time to go take this guy for a little, you wanna go for a, a walk? A walk? <laughs> We're gonna go take a little adventure. Where should we go? Hmm. We are currently here at Rum Runners in Marquette, Michigan. It's a beautiful location that's just right up on the side of Lake Superior. Scouts run around, having a good time. Um, the trail is a bit more packed down than I had thought it was going to be, so I don't think I'm gonna need the snowshoes. So I'm gonna try and find a way to finagle the snowshoes onto this new camera backpack. Uh, check this out. It has one of the craziest ways to clip this on, watch this. You just push down right here, and it just comes undone. Like that, magic, and then it just loops right into the backpack. So I'm gonna try and see how I can situate these snowshoes on, since I don't currently need them, but I know that they come in handy a lot of times when I do need them. Might not be the most pretty, but I think we got them on there. Let's give it a whirl. First time flying in a while. <laughs> we'll see what Scout thinks of this thing. Yeah. This guy just went right past an eagle. I legitly think that eagle was trying to attack my drone. Not gonna lie. Whew. We made it, landed safe and sound. Let's go home, warm these fingers up. Whew. All right, so the next rule that I always hold for myself is make it sure that I always get outside for at least 30 minutes a day and get some extra steps in. And there's a little bit behind that. Not only is getting outside around this beautiful area, and getting some extra steps in. Not only is it good for the soul, but you're also improving your cardiovascular health along the way too. Uh, just because you are, or just because I am in a bulk does not mean that I have the right to 
neglect cardio. Start noticing as you bulk more and more and more that your cardiovascular health might also go down if you're not staying on top of it. And cardio can look however you want cardio to look like. It can be a simple walk out with your dog, which always seems to be best for me. And this guy too, makes him happy, makes me happy. Uh, but it can also be on the treadmill if you're not a fan of walking outside in the winter, or it can be rowing, it can be whatever you choose, swimming, it's all good, and it's all getting your heart rate up for a little bit and an extended period of time, which again is going to increase your cardiovascular output. And when that comes to strength training, that's gonna transition into a healthier heart for yourself, which is going to allow you to push yourself as you get a little bit higher and higher in those rep ranges. Uh, maybe not so much when you're strictly training for overall strength, when you're in the lower reps, but particularly when you start getting above, say with the deadlift, above four reps, or uh, maybe bench press anywhere, anywhere between eight to 12 reps, um, you'll just start noticing that your heart rate gets up pretty high. And so this right here is just doing me a favor to stay on top of it. Lunch is served, what we got going on, we got a good sized sandwich here, some flex chips, and a tall glass of fat-free milk. So this meal is 793 calories, 58 grams of protein, 25 grams of fat, and 87 grams of carbs on here. What this lunch consists of, tall glass of milk, we have a serving of flex chips, which you can get at Walmart in the popcorn aisle. There's both barbecue and cheddar flavor. I love the cheddar flavor, but they're both good. Um, they're super good because they have 10 grams of protein and they're not crazy high in fats or uh, carbs. So much better option than going out for those Lay's or Doritos in a bulk. Uh, secondary after that, we got one of my favorite things in this world, a sandwich. You can never go wrong. What we got on here, we got some whole grain bread loaded up with a whole bunch of vegetables. We have onions, tomatoes, and lettuce in there. And then there is one and a half servings of chicken lunch meat. Uh, there is two slices of normal bacon on there, some mayo, uh, serving and a half of mayo, and then also we have a slice of cheese on there. So again, this meal is loaded up with protein, and then after this, we're gonna go hit the gym. I also have to set up for Fit Body Boot Camp, being that it is Sunday today. We have workouts that start on Monday, and it's my week for programming the workouts. So we're gonna go set up for the workouts over at Fit Body. And then we're also going to go and get ourselves a pole workout there too. So I'll show you what I have for uh, more of a pre-workout when we're there. All right, guys, we just got done setting up for tomorrow's Monday strength day here at Fit Body Bootcamp. Uh, very excited. Uh, format, we're gonna have five stations out here on the floor and there's going to be triple A followed by triple B for the format. So there's an A move, there's a B move, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. Uh, so. This is pretty exciting stuff. I haven't really gotten the chance to ever show you guys what I do here uh, for work. So I'm a fitness coach here at Fit Body Boot Camp, And what we do is we specialize in 30 minute, 2% of your day training sessions. They are intense. They're either focused on strength day or a classic day, which is mixture of strength or Metcon. A Metcon day is all out intense cardio moves, high impact moves. Uh, a lot of sweat going on, clients absolutely love, <laughs> and sometimes don't love all the workouts. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, they are very, very tough. So I'm gonna give you guys a little preview as to what I do. So sometimes we have 36 people, and I'm miking up just like this. Oh, speaker's not on, hold on. All right, just like that, guys. So we'll have a room of 36 people here is what we can max out to. Uh, we got the speaker right behind me over there. We got another one all the way over on the far side. And like I said, best 30 minutes of our client's day. That is our goal to inspire fitness and change lives. And that's not only for the members, but that is also with you guys too. So that's one of my big impact that I wanna have on my YouTube channel is inspire fitness, maybe change your guys' life and also uh, maybe inspire you guys to just 
get outside, pick up an outdoor hobby. Uh, adventure is another huge thing that is a part of me, uh, whether that be hiking, video, photo, flying drones, snowboarding, mountain biking, fishing, hunting, whatever it is, I just like to work out, get outside, enjoy life, especially with this guy too. So that's gonna lead me to the next tip, which is hydration here. So as I said, um, I have my little pre-workout fuel in here. This is just filled up with some extra carbohydrates. What I do is I get a big container of Gatorade. So there's uh, 50 grams of that in here, which is about 40 grams of carbs. And then I'll do my uh, creatine in this as well. And then uh, it's a little bit later right now, so I'm not gonna take it, but oftentimes I will throw my pre-workout right in with this too. And then this right here, this is a gallon hydro jug. Uh, this right here is my go-to. I even had a client <laughs> sticker slap, check that out, a German Shepherd deadlifting one time. So this is a gallon and my go-to water bottle. I drink one of these every single day. No, I'm not saying that you have to drink a whole gallon every single day, uh, but what you should be aiming for when it comes to hydration, and I can't say enough because our whole body, it's mostly made of water. So it's important to drink a lot of water, especially if you're taking something like creatine too. Uh, but you should at least be drinking half your body weight in ounces of water a day. So keep that in mind. Again, if you're gonna be drinking all that, not only is it going to keep you feeling more energized throughout the day, but it's gonna help with all of your cellular processes that go down in your body when it comes to building lean muscle mass. And same thing on the flip side, if you're in a caloric deficit and you're trying to lose weight, it's going to help flush out any of the bad toxins uh, that get released as you are burning off body fat from your body. So now we're gonna get this workout, guys. Uh, we got upper body pole day today. We're gonna do a mix of right here on the floor and also the weight room right upstairs for the workout. So in the past, I used to always write my own programs and lately I really wanted to try something new and maybe learn from someone uh, else and purchase my own program. So what I've been following uh, for the past, I'd say year now is a couple of Jeff Nippard's uh, programs and you might've heard him on YouTube also. I've been really enjoying his workouts. I did do his uh, push pull legs, hypertrophy split, and then the last split that I did was his power building 1.0. And now I'm currently halfway through his power building 2.0. And I would have to say that during the 1.0 power building and the 2.0, I definitely noticed some strength increases, but that's also when I started increasing my calories more and more and more. Um, so that obviously will go a long ways when it comes to building strength and muscle. Uh, but, you know, I'm really enjoying doing this program because it's inspiring me and teaching me a few things for when I go back to writing my own programs, which is something that I would like to do in the future and maybe also write some programs that maybe you guys would be interested in trying out too. So maybe you'll see that in the future. Uh, but right now, let's get this workout. It's upper body pole day two. Uh, on here, it's pretty sleek. I can write down uh, the weight that I use and then also the amount of reps that I'm able to get also. We got set number three going down. All right, guys, so we got one last set here. I'm going to back off the weight just a little, little bit and try and get instead of five reps this time, I'm gonna go for eight reps. Uh, still three seconds, actually a little bit less on the lowering phase this time. Now we got three seconds. Just gonna go a little bit wider with the grip here. So we are all done with the pull-ups now. 
time to go upstairs to the other portion of the weight room of Fit Body Boot Camp here. And we're gonna get our Penlay Row on. Uh, so one of you guys, or some of you guys might be wondering what exactly is power building uh, or the program that I'm, that I'm following by Jeff Nippard. And basically power building is a mix of strength focus moves and also a mix of hypertrophy focus moves. So towards the beginning of the workout, uh, whatever the focus is for that day, let's say, uh, let's say it's a upper body pull workout day such as today, uh, the primary strength focus movement to start is the pull-ups. And so putting emphasis on that uh, with strength or a little bit lower reps, higher intensity. Uh, so once you get done with that, you're gonna go more into hypertrophy training, which basically you're spiking up the volume or you're getting more reps, a little bit lighter weight, a little bit less intensity, but more mind-muscle connection, more tempo, and all that. So now we're gonna work on that right now and get some of the mid back here with this penlay row. Things off with five by 10 penlay rows. That's being five strict penlay rows and then 10, uh, not full cheat, but a little bit more leniency with the reps. Come on, sit, sit down, sit, stay. Cool guys, might be seeing more of this room here now in the near future. I currently am 25 pounds heavier than the last time I looked in this mirror, so let's see what this looks like. Hold on, gotta remove the cell phone bulge out of the pocket. <laughs> No, I am no professional when it comes to posing or anything like that. So, we're gonna work on that. <laughs> nice. I'm stoked about this, guys. Um, like I said, I'm not the biggest person in the world, but I have gained some muscle and some strength and I'm excited to share some of my ways that I have gotten this progress with you guys. Woo! All done with those penlay rows. Um, the one thing I should mention is it is currently my deload week um, since I'm halfway through the Power Building 2 program right now. Uh, he incorporates a deload week uh, before we get into the second portion of Power Building 2 which uh, has some different focus moves. So, and it's kind of smart. I really like how he incorporates uh, the new moves that are being introduced into the workout on the deload week. So, you know, the intensity isn't quite as high and it gives you some time to practice the new moves that's about to go down. Uh, so next up on the list for the workouts, we got 12 to 15 reps, two sets of neutral grip seated rows. So I'm gonna really think about driving the elbows nice and low, feeling a nice big squeeze and getting a lot, a lot a lot of training volume in on this one. Grab a hold, I'm gonna place my foot on here. Um, it does say machine rows, but again, we're working out here today just so I can talk with you guys also. So we're going to improvise a little bit. Instead of doing seated machine, I'm just gonna go with seated cable. Probably go up and wait a little bit, but mm, we still got some weights, or we still got some sets to go. Yeah, let's finish this up. Really make sure that you have that pin locked down before you jump to the next one. 
I always like to think at the bottom, really relax the shoulders. Big squeeze at the end of each rep here. There we go. Next move that we have is going to be cable rear delt flies or cable reverse flies. Um, so with this, again, it's another new move that's all about mind-muscle connection. Uh, we're gonna go three sets of 15 to 20 reps with only one to two minutes rest. Uh, so gonna be sneaking in quite a bit of training volume here, or quite a bit of reps in a short period of time. Uh, again, this one, you don't have to go too, too heavy, but it's all about driving your elbows out nice and wide, feeling the squeeze, making sure your arms are nice and straight all the way across the body and then find to stay up nice and high. A uh, move that I kind of discovered if you're ever doing this with bands, or you could even think about this with cables too, is you always want to point your thumbs at each other to start. And if your thumbs stay pointed at each other as you pull the arms all the way nice and wide, that's gonna ensure you that your elbows are in the right position with this move. So driving the elbows out wide and high, trying to target the rear delts or the backside of our shoulders. And the reason we want to do this is for some shoulder stability in our overhead presses, our bench presses, and also to really add that nice cap shoulder. So I'm very front delt dominant, I feel. Very much so trying to prioritize uh, working on my rear delts here. So let's get set number one. Again, this is just kind of exploratory round when it comes to the weights. So you want to start with the cables out in front of you, just like so, and then think about keeping chest up proud. Drive the elbows wide, big squeeze with each rep here. You know, we'll be getting a lot of volume. Flies, oh my gosh. What's wrong with me? I have to end things with uh, two different exercises for our biceps. So first up, we're gonna have ease bar curl. We're gonna do three sets of 10 to 12 reps. And <laughs> we got the wagon wheels on for this one. All right guys, so now we're on to the last move of the evening here. And I'd have to say, I've never done this move. I've actually never even seen this move. Uh, it's called a pinch grip barbell curl. So what you do, you know, I'm not opposed to trying new things, but what are you throwing at us here, Jeff? So you grab your dumbbell, hold it right here on the end. Make sure you got a good hand placement. We're gonna do two sets on each arm of 15 to 20 reps. So, I know this looks a little ridiculous, a little bit different, but again, not opposed to trying something new. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell you that it's forearm. For our so we kind of have to revise my uh, camera actually ran out of memory space. So back to the pinch grip. Uh, you might be able to see how I have my camera or my cell phone bunked up. It's on top of camera lens. You can see the lens right here. The road, or not the road mic. Got the, uh, the Sony mic up top. <laughs> uh, the things that we're gonna do are make it through this video, guys. So again, back to the pinch curls. It's different, but I kinda like it. You gotta find the right dumbbell. I grabbed a hold of a dumbbell that had a little bit too much girth on the end and it just was not possible. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Whoo, what a workout, guys. So right when I get done with a workout, I usually whip myself up a protein shake with one scoop of whey protein and just some water in there. And then I usually have myself an apple or a banana. Comment down in the comment section, what's your go-to? Uh, are you more of an apple or more of a banana person? So I'm gonna take these guys with me. Uh, gonna get a a little bit of work done here in the office with some editing and enjoy this and 
I will get back with you guys here in a little bit for the final meal of the day. What you got here? Huh? All right, for a late dinner, we have 250 grams of rice, 150 grams of chicken breast. Throw that in the microwave for two minutes and 30 seconds. 80 grams of high protein, non-fat Greek yogurt. About 60 grams of thick and chunky salsa. And 29 grams of extra sharp cheddar cheese. Mix that up really good, guaranteed. You guys are in for a saucy treat with this one. Mm. All right, Scout, it's time. We're gonna give it a whirl. You ready? What is this? <laughs> oh, jeez. What oh, do you want to play? I think Scout's camera shy. <laughs> Are you camera shy? Scout is beyond curious what this is. All right. What's this? Whoa, what is this? What is this? Is this your new toy? Oh, okay. Jeez, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to figure this out. <laughs> All right, so I have treats basically under tons of these. Well, some of these. Some of these don't have treats. There's a good one. Let's see what we're gonna cover. We're gonna cover this one up. We're gonna let them get started with this, though. Oh, no. You ready? <laughs> Look at that smile. Hey, come on. You ready? You ready? Oh, someone's very excited. Let's go, come here. Good, sit. On your bed. Good, stay. Stay there. Hey, no. On your bed. Lay down. Good, stay there. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, he got the one. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, he got that one. <laughs> Look at you go. Good boy, dude. Good boy, buddy. There you go. Get it. Get it. There you go. <gasps> What's in there? <laughs> He's just going for it. What's in there? Good boy. Oh, good boy, Scout. You got that? Hey, Scout, look at it. Look at that. Oh, good doggy. Good boy. Oh, you got another one. Man. This is easy for you, dude. This is easy for you. Look at you. You're so smart. Oh. <laughs> He's just gonna just tear this thing apart. <laughs> Is that all of them? There you go, there you go. Hey, buddy. There's the other ones. Oh, good boy. <laughs> hey, look. Look at. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, there's, no, there's more. There you go. Good job, buddy. Good job, dude. Well, I'd have to say that was a major success. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, it's getting late. We're gonna wrap up the video right here. Uh, the one last thing I do wanna touch on is the importance of getting good quality sleep. And what I mean by good quality sleep is six to eight hours of sleep every single night. That is going to help you with recovery. Again, making sure that as hard as you work every single day, you wanna make sure that as hard as you work, you also recover just as hard. Uh, that's very important uh, to keep your energy levels staying high, as well as making sure that you're going back into the gym uh, fully recovered and ready to go and ready to move heavy weights and push yourself. So I can't say enough how important it is to get good sleep. Uh, it also is going to help reduce our cortisol levels, which is also very important. So. Get some good sleep, that's just what we're gonna do. We're gonna end the night here with a little bit of popcorn. We're gonna end the night here with a little bit of 
Blacklist on Netflix. Blacklist lately has just been my jam. I don't know if I have any Blacklist friends out there. Look at this guy. <laughs> I think he enjoyed his toy. Um, but yes, if you're a Blacklister, if you like Blacklist, drop down a comment. What's uh, What episode are you on or have you watched all of them? I'm currently on season five, just running through uh, all the episodes. I'm absolutely hooked. Uh, so I'm going to enjoy this popcorn. Going to enjoy a diet, zero calorie, zero caffeine root beer. Enjoy a little bit of time with this guy before we get our six to eight hours of sleep. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button down below and check out this video next. It's about my life in 75 hard and all my experiences in day one through 60. And also if you're new here to the channel, Welcome guys, make sure you click here to subscribe. I'm gonna post a new video every single week. You're not gonna to wanna to miss a single one of them. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.